What's going to have more force when you whip, a loose line or a tight line? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to Yosemite National Park. Here at the rostrum, Kim and I set up this 115 foot high line on Skypilot from Slack Life BC. And we're going to find out if it hurts more to whip on this when it's loose or if it hurts more to whip on it when it's tight. Now it is a 10 to 14 percent stretch, but how much of the uh, te how much tension does affect the force on the whippers? So I'm going to volunteer myself to whip on this uh, three times. We're going to whip uh, close to this anchor, the middle, and close to that anchor, loose, and we're going to repeat it tight. And we're going to find out on our dynamometer right there uh, what the forces are. So we're going to test loose first because it's easier to tighten when we're done. Um, right now it's got 50 pounds of force or 0.26 kilonewtons. A kilonewton is about 225 pounds of force. So we're just going to do kilonewtons from this point on. Um, standing sag right now is only 0.26 kilonewtons uh, right now. And then there's a weight when I'm on it. And then we're going to see what the weight is, the force, um, when I whip. And I'm going to whip right here in the middle and over there. 1.58 kilonewtons of force. Okay, test number one. Okay, we got two, three, ooh, 4.1 when you moved, it was 3.6. And then when you moved on that last part of the whip, it went up to 4.1. Awesome, ooh, first whipper of the morning. Woo! <laughs> okay, now for the middle. Okay, that went up to 3.12, so, oh, it's back up to 4.18. Okay, 3.9 on that one. So that was the least force at any fall was the other anchor. So those whippers felt like a lot of whippers on like a 100 foot line. Um, I'm curious if a tighter line would m make more of a, like a bungee jump field where you don't get such a shock load. But you can see how much looser this line is now. I'm at 0.6 kilonewtons on this anchor. So a lot of things either stretch or whatever. But um, this is as loose as you'd ever really rig, and so this is a good test for this. Now let's try it tight. Okay, so Kim and I used a hang grip, <laughs> a line grip, and a hangover, uh, and pulled as tight as we could, and almost got this to two kilonewtons. But then by the time I tied off my tails and all that, it's back down to 1.5 kilonewtons. So this is as tight as you can get it without um, a tension system. And this is, I mean, Nobody these days really walks anything tighter than this anyways. So I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna whip in three places again and we're gonna see um, a standing tension of 1.5 plus my weight, what that'll result in. Okay, so Ryan is getting on the high line right now and it's a, it's kind of fluctuating between two and 2.3 kilonewtons. I'm in a very narrow no fall zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. I don't think I've ever whipped here. Cause this would be bad. Yeah. We're doing it for science. For doing science. it for you guys. Ow! Okay. There we go. Whoa. Woo! What is Woo! it at? It's at 2.4, 4.6. There we go. Jesus, I'm bouncing all over the place. Yeah. So Ryan's in the middle now. And we're back to 2.3 to 2.5 kilonewtons of pressure. Oh, it feels so good. I don't want to whip. Whip, Ugh. whip, fall in your face. Right. Okay, we got to 3.98, 4.62, one, two, 4.4. So I'm not gonna put a dyno on uh, myself and whip, mostly because I don't wanna whip six more times, but also because they felt the same. Um, I didn't hurt more than one than the other. So, um, and this, after we had started with 1.5 before I got on, the standing tension now is at, uh, was at 0.5 when I got off and is now at 0.7. It's interesting how much uh, the tension is changing uh, when it even just sits there. But we lost almost a full kilonewton with me whipping on it a couple times. 
And this is on SkyPilot. Obviously, it'll be different with different kinds of webbings. But um, it was super interesting that we got similar results. Um, and it felt the same uh, during the whips. So if you like this test, let me know in the comments below. Um, and maybe we can get some dinos on the anchors and on the leash at the same time in the future. And maybe we could try like uh, stretchy versus static webbings um, at the same length on the same day and compare that. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of test or if I should just stick with funny videos and stop trying to be Mr. Science Man. Um, but the tensions can be all over the place, as you can see, so uh, therefore you shouldn't highline. Hey, thanks for watching, but don't be an idiot and go rig your first highline after watching some guy on YouTube show you how to do it. Instead, go with somebody who knows what they're doing the first time you go out. But until you get that opportunity, watch our other videos and don't forget to subscribe.